Hi everyone, this is Linus and this is the review of the super cheap Blackview BV2000. Stay tuned! The phone comes with just a power plug and the USB cable. The device is very compact as it has a 5 inches display and the phone is made entirely of plastic. My review unit comes in pink color but it has a lot more other color options. On the front top, there is the 5 megapixel snapper along with other usual stuff. On the bottom, you can find a physical home button and nicely backlit capacitive keys. On the back, you can find an 8 megapixel shooter with dual LED flash and the speaker grill. The buttons are located on the right side and they have a great tactile feedback. Under the hood, there is a removable 2400 mAh battery, two SIM card slots and the micro SD card slot. Overall, the phone is well built and I have no complaints at all. The Blackview BV2000 has a 5 inches 720p panel which is pretty sharp, it has decent color reproduction and it is a good display overall for such a cheap phone. The device runs on Android 5.1 with the Blackview skin on top of it which removes the app tray without any reason but it has a lot of customization options and other features for a budget device. You can customize the device using the dedicated theme store, change wallpapers, adjust launcher settings and so on. As far as extra features go, you have some typical gesture and motion controls. They all work ok and gesture recognition is pretty accurate, however, I found them to be kind of slow to work. When it comes to day-to-day -day performance, I can't say that everything is running smoothly. There is occasional stutter and even a little bit of lag. To make the situation even worse, the stutter kicks in even when you are scrolling through menus. Hopefully, this issue is only due to an early software build and we will see an update to fix that. The Blackview BV2000 is not going to be your next powerhouse device as it has an MTK6735 quad-core chip which is clocked at 1GHz, 1GB of RAM and just 8GB of expandable storage. The 3D gaming experience is kind of terrible, there is a lot of stutter and lag and basically this phone is not the best choice for hardcore gamers out there. As far as camera, the 8 megapixel shooter does not impress. Even the daylight shots don't look good. There is a low amount of details, there are focusing issues and the images look terrible. The low light shots, well, they do not impress either as the images lack in every aspect you can imagine. Same can be said with the 720p video quality. Consuming HD content is an okay experience as the playback is smooth, however, the sound that is coming out of the rear mounted speaker is kind of tinny, well, this is what you have to expect from such a cheap device. As far as connectivity, everything is working pretty much fine and I had no issues with the Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, call quality or signal reception. When it comes to the battery life, it is good but not great. The 2400 mAh unit will last you a full day of usage but it will give you only around 3 hours of screen on time. The Blackview BB2000 is indeed a cheap device and you can get it for around $70 US. It has a decent design and a good build quality and pretty good display for such a low price. However, the UI performance needs some more polishing as it is not smooth all the time. Also, this phone is definitely not for gamers out there as the most graphically intensive games have a lot of lag. In addition, the camera is kind of disappointment and the battery life could be a little bit better. All in all, the Blackview BB2000 is not a perfect device in general but it's okay for the price. If we see a software update to make the UI faster along with other possible improvements, it can be a decent phone for $70 US. At the moment, you have to take all the shortcomings into consideration before making a purchase. It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Gizmo China's YouTube channel. Also, I suggest you checking out gizmochina.com for a full written review and other Chinese phones news and reviews. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next one.